Hey, and welcome in this second quick tip on surface imperfection. So first, let me explain what is surface imperfection. So in real life, you know, everything got some scratches, nothing is perfect. There is always this kind of dance on uh, material, especially on metal, but uh, everything, everything is uh, scratchy, you know, and nothing is perfect. So to create, to recreate this effect in 3D, we use uh, surface imperfection textures. So it's this kind of black and white texture you can use in your, your roughness map, or the bump, or different uh, way to use that. And I will show you how to use these uh, textures in Cinema 4D with Octane Render, but of course you can use that on Redshift or other render engines. In this tutorial, I will use a texture from a pack I made for my Patreon subscribers. So the pack consists of uh, 50 textures made on uh, Substance Designer by myself and uh, everything is styleable and uh, in 4K. The textures will be available in the resources access tier on my Patreon. And also in this tier you will get access to uh, the Cyclorama generator for example and uh, more in the future of course. The texture will be free to use in your personal and commercial project as well. So let's go in C40 and uh, check what we can do with these, uh, these textures. So I've put everything in my content browser and I made some example to show you what uh, we can do with that. So as you can see, we, we get this uh, sphere with a lot of uh, uh, scratches on it and uh, you see this kind of stains and uh, really different uh, textures you can get. So it looks really complex directly, but uh, we just use one simple texture in it. So it's really easy process and uh, you can get some really nice results directly. I also made this material with uh, three different textures. I've just mixed uh, this one and this one. And I used uh, another surface imperfection to mix uh, both. So it's really looking really complex with just three, three simple textures. So let me show you how to create this kind of uh, material. So first we start with uh, Octane Universal Material and we are going to open it in the node editor. And on the roughness channel, we are going to put an image texture tag uh, image texture nodal and we are going to import our texture in it. When you import uh, surface imperfection like this one and black and white textures like this, you will have to put your gamma on one so you can use uh, the wall range of the picture. So let's put another one to try. So as you can see it creates some really nice effects on the on the roughness. So you see, it creates some really, really cool effects. We can put that on the bump too, but no, it's too strong. So let's reduce that with a color correction and put 0 0.1. Oh, so it's way better now. You can use the information on the metallic too, and let's put a bit on black or something different. Uh, let's give more power to our texture. So yes, so you can do a lot of different uh, effects, you know, with just one simple texture and you can change that really easily and create uh, some really, really nice materials like this one. It's really looking great. All right, so that's that's it for utilization of uh, surface imperfection, but the uh, normal way, I would say. <laughs> and let me show you an, another example what I made. So on this uh, statue scan texture I, I've used. So again, I made a uh, just a simple black and white texture with uh, the surface imperfection in it. I created a copper-like material, again, 
with just one texture you see on the on the roughness and a bit of bump and I've mixed both texture again uh, in the amount I've put uh, different textures to create this look I've mixed two textures together and create this really nice cool effect let me show you one another one oh, no number two and in this render I use uh, the surface imperfection to put different colors and mix different colors together and to create this really really cool effect I think uh, so let me show you how I made this so let's start with a uh, octane universal material. I will put it back on my texture. All right, on my mesh. Sorry. Just start again the render. Okay. So uh, let's put the metallic on zero, and we are going to import some textures. So put a image texture. Don't forget to put the gamma on one, and let's import one. I don't know this one, for example. All right. I just want to change the projection to to a box. I think yeah, it's already looking better. And we are going to colorize uh, this texture. So let's put a mix. And in texture one, let's put the RGB spectrum and another one RGB spectrum oops RGB <laughs> RGB all right and let's choose some colors okay and put that here so what is going on here the mixed texture use the information in the surface imperfection texture let me change it to show you the difference and it will say okay all the black uh, part will be purple and all the white part will be uh, the over color like uh, let's put something different like some mm, yellow maybe oh, yes so as you can see right now, the mixing is not really perfect. So let's add a color correction and give more contrast. And directly with just some contrast, you can create some really different effects. So it's really cool. So how to add another color to that? So let's duplicate everything. And this time we are going to put this mixed texture in the texture one. Let's delete this one and put a different color, like uh, let's say let's this one. Again, let's put that in the albedo and change the texture. So it's really, really simple. Mm, something different, uh, like this. All right. Give more or less. Uh, let me change this purple because it's really gross all right yes it's really looking great now uh, we are going to mix our two roughness maps so let's put add and oops add again so now we got our two roughness maps mixed together and we are going to use that as a roughness uh, why I say roughness? I would say um, surface imperfection. So let's connect that to the roughness. So it gives more roughness to our texture. Uh, let's move that here. Yeah. Let's change some, make some adjustment and. Uh, and that's it. That's how you can use your surface imperfection textures in a more creative way like this and uh, you can create some really really cool looks with just some 
just two textures and three sometimes, and you can mix materials together and create some really, really cool effect, I think. So again, the textures I've used in this uh, tutorial are from a pack I made for my Patreon. You can get access to this pack in the first year. If you subscribe, you will be able to download the 50 textures, but also for the Cyclorama generator and more in the future, of course. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, second quick tip tutorial and uh, see you later. Thank you and bye bye.